Hello and welcome to the program, Sula's Big Adventures, with me, Sula. This episode is about a prominent feature on the moon, Rima Hyginus, or Eginus. <laughs> It's minus one degrees Fahrenheit. Before I start, let me say that I'm not an expert on Latin pronunciation, so I consulted with my Latin expert <laughs> who tells me that Rima Hyginus is pronounced Eginus in Latin, although Wikipedia says Hyginus. I'm going to call it Eginus. Right in the middle of the moon is a prominent feature that you can see with even a three inch telescope. Rima Eginus, Rima is Latin for fissure, also known as Eginus Rill. Rill is a valley or trench on the moon. Eginus Rill is 204 kilometers long and three kilometers wide and is bisected by the small crater Eginus. Rima Eginus and Eginus Crater are named after the Roman author Gaius Julius Eginus, who lived from 64 BC to 17 AD, and among whose writings is a poetical astronomy book with myths about the constellations. Rima Eginus is a linear rill caused by volcanic activity on the moon. A linear rill is another word for a graben. A graben is a section of the crust that sunk as two parallel faults pulled apart. Within the rill are collapsed craters that probably formed when the volcanic structures underlying the graben collapsed. Eginus crater does not have a raised rim, and this indicates that it was most likely formed not by an impact, but by volcanic activity on the moon, making it one of the few craters on the moon not formed by an impact. Rima Eginus was proposed as a landing site for Apollo 19. Crater Eginus and Rima Eginus can be found south of Mare Vaporum and just north of Sinus Medi. Medi means middle because it's in the middle of the lunar disk. Rima Eginus is at the northern edge of Sinus Medi. This prominent and interesting geological feature on the moon runs parallel to another dramatic rill, Rima Ariadeus, 220 kilometers long, which is east of Rima Eginus. And just south of crater Eginus is Rima Trisnicker, a series of rills running 200 kilometers south to a degraded crater. Halfway along the way is Rima Trisnicker, 25 kilometer crater Trisnicker, that has a well-preserved central peak and intact walls. Crater Eginus and Rima Eginus are best seen when the moon is seven days past new moon. New moon means there's no moon, so seven days after new moon. Today, the moon is seven days old, and it's clear, so let's have a look at Rima Eginus. I'm trying to capture Rima Eginus and Crater Eginus with an ASI 224 camera attached to my laptop and capturing it with sharp cap, but the seeing is horrific and <laughs> I don't think it's coming out very well. As many people said about the last one, it looks like we're swimming on the moon. But I'll keep trying, but if this is a very high magnification, I may have to go get my mirrorless camera and try to capture it with that. So this is a little Sony crop sensor camera. I'm going to take the eyepiece out and put this camera in because it will not be nearly as magnified and see if I can get it to focus be right back so with the little APS-C mirrorless camera you can see it's a much more of a wide field shot maybe this will be good to show you the location this it shows Mare Tranquillitatis and Julius Caesar the flooded crater at the edge of Mare Tranquillitatis and 
ooginess is just below that. You can see both of the rills, but you can see how hard it is to get it in focus even with this APS-C camera. So not sure if any of this will turn out, but I'll do my best. So that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this video about some prominent and interesting features on the moon. Rima Ingenu's prominent rill on the moon and some nearby features. See y'all soon. Until then, get outside and enjoy the night sky. Dark skies forever. Sula signing off.